Okay, this is my second tutorial on synthesizers. My last video, someone asked why I didn't explain what a synthesizer was. Synthesizer is basically an electronic instrument. It's it's uh, hardware or software that, that emulates an actual instrument. That's the simplest way to explain it, I guess. Today I'm going to show you a program called AM Synth. AM Synth is a very simple uh, but uh, cool program. But uh, I did come across a little problem. I just switched to uh, the newest version of Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu from Debian. Now I didn't have any issues with this in Debian, but once I switched to to uh, Linux Mint, and uh, or if you're using the latest version of Ubuntu Jaunty, uh, you're gonna have a problem. You install AM Synth and it won't start up. If that happens to you, uninstall it through your package manager. Uh, there's already been a bug uh, reported filed. Um, go to Google. Do a Google search AM Synth package and go down to Ubuntu package search results AM Synth and choose the Hardy Heron one. Go here, scroll all the way down to the bottom to download it, choose your processor, and then choose your server. And it will probably want to open it up in a package installer. Go ahead, click OK. It'll give you a message telling you that there's a newer version in your package manager already. Just click OK and go ahead and install it because the newer version isn't working right now. Hopefully that's a uh, bug that they will fix soon. Once it's installed, we start up JackD. As I've mentioned in previous tutorials, JackD is kind of like a soundboard that you can uh, connect different audio devices and programs together. Uh, so start that up. That's also something else that there's a glitch in the latest version of Ubuntu. You may have to start that up uh, from the command line using uh, JackD dash D also or whatever your audio backend is and then come into the graphic user interface and start it hopefully that's a bug they'll fix uh, once again I didn't have either of those problems in uh, Debian Lenny I'm not sure about uh, like SID or something like that anyway so we have it installed we have our Jack D started we're gonna go to AM synth start it up and here's what the program looks like now if you don't have a MIDI keyboard unfortunately uh, AM Synth doesn't seem to have a virtual keyboard, at least not that I've found yet. Um, so you're going to need either a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI editor that you can send your notes from to this, uh, such as Rose Garden, which I am going to be doing tutorials on soon. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you'll be able to use this program soon once, once I do my tutorials on Rose Garden. Anyway, uh, this program has a lot of preset instruments. Uh, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can hear what they sound like by clicking Audition. And as I said, it's got a bunch that you can play with and hear. Uh, you can also mess with the different knobs, so you can press that and now, you know, just play with it and learn what each button does and knobs do. But if you do have a MIDI keyboard, what we'll do is we will uh, click this connect window on our Jack D interface and go over to ALSA and I'm using a USB Oxygen 61 keyboard which is a great keyboard lots of knobs and dials on it and uh, in Linux you plug it in USB it's automatically detected no drivers needed to install choose that and then over here choose uh, AM synth as the input so your keyboard as the output AM synth as the input press connect you know it's connected it's got that little line right there connecting it just like a, a wire on the soundboard now I can press keys on my MIDI keyboard and I can play through this synthesizer once again you can play with some of these knobs if you look at your amplifier over here you have attack decay sustain and release uh, quickly I'll explain these. You can also see that under the low pass filter. Attack is how hard the sound comes in. So if it's low, it comes in pretty fast. If you turn that up, see I'm pressing the key and it, it's set to 15 seconds. It's going to start off low and at 15 seconds get to its strongest. I'll lower it down to about a second and a half now. You see how it kind of fades in as to when it's down here. It's a hard hit so that's attack uh, if you turn the release up and the sustain up uh, you can see it kinda changes when you let go how fast it 
releases the sound. And if you change that in the low pass filter, you can turn the release up. And I click the key. Here, I'll show you. If you ever get to where a sound won't stop, if you kill all voices, that's kind of a panic button. But if I turn the release down low and press audition, you can see as soon as I let go, it stops. If I turn it up, right now it's set to just over nine seconds. I clicked and released, and it's going to hold it out for that nine seconds or so. So, different knobs do different things. You can also do some distortion. Once again, you can kill all voices if it's making a lot of noise. Just play with a lot of these knobs and, and switches to see what each one does until you get used to it. I'm going to quickly show you under config, you can go down to MIDI controller. Since we're connected to the MIDI keyboard here, I can choose from this list of, uh, of options here. And such as the low pass filter, you'll see filter here, and we have attack, decay, sustain, and those represent each of these knobs. So I'll click attack, and what I'll do is I will turn a knob, oh, I choose attack, and then turn the knob here, and it changes, it sets this knob on my physical keyboard to the knob on the virtual program here. I can do the same thing, I can click on decay. I click on that button there. It sometimes it seems to take two tries, and on the second try you get it. So I got attack and 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 decay going, or I thought I had attack going. There we go. And decay. Now I can go down to sustain. And see, I was already set as release, so I have to do it a second time. Like if it's already set, it seems to uh, to to. Have to, you have to do it twice to actually get it to take. So, as you can see, I'll zoom in here to make it more obvious what I'm doing. I've now programmed these first three buttons here, or knobs, so that I have knobs on my MIDI keyboard, and as I turn them, it turns the virtual knobs. And that's nice because with the virtual knobs, you can only turn one at a time because of you have to use your mouse. But I can turn these physical knobs with my fingers and I can change more than one at a time. And you can do that with any of these options, any of these knobs or buttons or switches, just with config, MIDI controller, choosing the one you want, and then turning that knob. Like I said, make sure you're connected in Jack D first, and you might have to do each knob twice to get the take. But works pretty good once you get it set up. You can also, uh, another thing I like about this program, is, like I said, you can mess with all these knobs and there's a bunch of presets, but if you watch the knobs now, I'm going to press Control R on my keyboard. And you see how every time I press Control R, all the knobs change? That's setting it to random settings. And it's pretty neat because you can get, I mean, lots of times they sound like crap, but you do it a few times, you can get a pretty neat sound, like sound effects or bassy sounds, things that you, you may not get with the presets. So, play with that. That's something I really like because you can get some neat sounds if you're looking for something like that. And you can always save your own presets with the save change button here. So that's AM Synth. As I said, uh, if you're using Jaunty or something based on Ubuntu Jaunty, you may have to go and manually install the Hardy Heron version because as of right now there's a bug. AM Synth isn't working. Hopefully it will work soon. And uh, for more videos and tutorials like this, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K, K-R-I-S. There's a link in the description. And I hope you enjoy this video.